Hey, what's going on, guys? Me, hi here. And Joe. And welcome back to some more Asagao Academy. In the last episode, we got to the events of day one, got here at the Academy, and uh, yeah, I found out there's actually this diary thing, so I guess we could like begin each day by reading the previous, uh, previous days. But anyway, we got two here. Yep. <clears throat> Dear Diary, today is the day I finally go to Asagao Academy. I couldn't sleep at all last night. When Dad dropped me off at the train station, he held my hand and stroked my hair. You look like your mother did, he said, but he didn't elaborate. Thank goodness for hate elaboration. <laughs> I miss Mom. I miss Dad. But hopefully this will be my fresh start. Yep. Alright, well, anyway. Um, this, then day uh, this is day one, of course. Dear Diary, things seem to go well yesterday, and thank goodness for that. I seem to have somehow made a friend named Mai, and she's really cute. I'm lucky to have her on my side. She seems so popular and kind. Aside from that, I ran into this group of guys called the Normal Boots Club. They're really popular. I wonder whether I could get in with them, too. Ugh, so, all this girl wants is uh, to be popular. She just wants to be popular. Cool. She's like, I want to be cool. She doesn't want friends. She just, yeah, wants to be all. It's like, please just, stuff. just, just get your, uh, just, just get, get your, get a life, get, get, yeah. get confidence. Anyway, let's get on to day two, I guess. I woke the next morning with what felt like a lizard in my throat. First, hot shame, and now a lizard. Yeah, now there's a lizard. Now there's the, the lizard, or just the a lizard. lizard from it the Amazing Spider. If it was the lizard, then that would be unfortunate. The yeah. lizard's in my throat. <laughs> Like, where's Spider-Man? Where's Spider-Man? <laughs> Let's try to run through this. Mai was already up, shuffling through her school bag with an enigmatic grin. The first day of school. How do you find your way? I'm so excited! I'm sorry, I shouldn't, probably shouldn't do that voice for her. Her voice sliced through the air like a knife, and I wince. She was definitely a morning person. It's time for the first day of school, aren't you excited? Um, no. <laughs> I can't wait to see what's gonna happen. What do you mean? Is something special happening today? Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> something strange always happens on the first day of school, especially to someone like you. Oh boy. She winked. That's not good. Someone like me? Mo? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, no. I don't know what she means. No, we don't. Don't be serious. It's not like this is a video game. She smiled and started messing with a pile of papers on her desk. Well, I'm sorry. Shaking my head, I got out of bed and pulled my uniform out of my closet. My palm sweat as I held the gold vest and blue jacket. Was it really possible for things to be different here than they were at home? Oh, well, yeah, you, are, it's a game, you are in so. a private school after all, well, so, yeah. you know, it kind of, yeah. What if the problem wasn't actually the school? Why well, shook the thought off my head and changed my uniform? No, no, couldn't no, be me. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's definitely not me. Oh! Hmm? What is it? You look so cute! Uh, really? Heat crept up my neck. Oh, oh ah, yeah. you need to stop right clicking. Sorry. Hey, man, no, heat no, is now heat creeping up her neck. First it was hot chain, now heat's creeping up her neck. And the lizard was inside her neck. The lizard got in her throat. <laughs> and Spider-Man wasn't there to save the day. No. He's still not Yes, here. completely! Your hair matches your uniform so well. Uh, you look like a flower blooming straight out of the ground. Booming straight out of the ground. <laughs> so thank you, I think. It was an insult. Water stung the back of my eyes. Now water stinging her eyes. Oh. Oh, everything's going wrong for her. And I turned to start packing my backpack. Why was I getting worked up about something as little as this? I must have gotten less sleep last night than I thought. Is something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. I'm just... Happy. Yeah. How dumb was that? I started crying at the first time of someone being nice to me. <laughs> she must have had a rough life. Oh yeah, I mean, apparently so. I took a deep breath to steady my nerves. Well, no, that was weird. Hopefully I didn't mess it up. I was like, hehehehe. <laughs> <laughs> what an oddly menacing laugh. Oh, thud. All the air left my lungs is something like horse hooves slammed against my back. Urk. <laughs> You'll do just fine, don't worry, this is gonna be <laughs> awesome. I stiffly peered over my shoulder. That... that was you? What? Huh? Mai stood behind me, her hand raised. Somehow she had the strength of a bodybuilder. No, you're now, just really you're weak. Just, you're just really weak, you don't know what strength of like a bodybuilder is. No, I guess a normal bodybuilder that only uses steroids, maybe? Yeah, maybe. She's like a steroid. Like with that guy who plays the part of Captain America, yeah. he, he only said he'd probably just fight uh, yeah, Black Widow because she's the only human. Yeah. Like, man, man, what would the way to think uh, incompetently of yourself? Well, those Avengers guy, guys okay, are pretty yeah, strong. Yeah, I guess so. Now, Mai is definitely not strong. I mean, look at her. She's just... 
Yeah. She's just like t- got tiny little arms and big chest, but for different reasons. Uh, but n- nothing. I was just about to zip my bag up when I spotted my book Satch gave me lying on the nightstand. The Princess Betrothed. He said that if I even needed to be transported somewhere far away, I could take it with me. It was pretty good so far. Maybe it would be smart to bring it along, just in case I had no, no one to talk to between class periods. Yeah. Would I need it for my first day of class? What do you think, guys? Should we take it or leave it behind? Uh, well, might as well take it. You yeah, we'll just take it. Take it. a book. I put it into my already overfull bag, bagging my lip. It never hurt to be prepared, right? You ready? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go. see what weird things happen. <laughs> Stick with me and you'll be fine. Yeah, I've heard that multiple times. Maya opened the door and together we stepped into the hallway, merging into a steady flow of ch- ch- chittering girls and fruit flavor <laughs> perfume. Chickening girls. Chickening girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, my, I did not know we lived on the same floor. No way, really? That's so awesome. Now we'll be able to catch up. Whatever happened between you and some other guy, probably. Man, that yeah, guy was a jerk. Uh-huh. The river of girls shifted as we headed down the stairs. Suddenly, I, find my- I found myself surrounded by a bunch of people I didn't know. Oh wow, what a jerk, you know. <laughs> My exclamations fade into the buzz of voices in the air. Oh, no. What would I do if we got separated? You'd be lost forever. Anxiously, I searched a crowd of girls for Mai, but I couldn't find her. Everyone was dressed in the same Asakawa uniform. It was difficult to tell anyone apart, and being so short really didn't help the situation. Oh, man. As we turned the last corner down the stairwell, I saw a flash of red hair a little ways in front of me. Mai? I reached between two girls and tapped her on the shoulder. Huh? Oh! Um! Uh, everybody's here. Best. <laughs> awkward. <laughs> like, it's not that awkward when you mistake someone for somebody else, you know? I mean, you're just like, oh, sorry. Who are you? See, look oh, how mean he is. Look how grumpy What's wrong with these people What's here? wrong with them? They're all They're mean. They're like, wait, you thought I was somebody else? Or how dare you? <laughs> Except the normal voice, guys. Dark. Everyone's a jerk. Yeah. The girl's eyes flash, almost like a jolt of electricity shot through them. Whoa. Uh, I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else, someone important. I yeah. guess not. You're just some. You're just some sort of weird, just some weird jerk person. Is. Some jerk. She said nothing and turned away. Uh-huh. Before I knew it, I stood outside of Primrose House, watching the flow grow dispersed across campus. Cute. Maya was nowhere to be seen. I couldn't even hear her chirpy voice. I'd be happy about that. <laughs> oh, man. Man. <laughs> oh, man, man. It's a, I took a deep breath, biting my lip. Stop biting it. You're not going to have any a lip big left. Deal. Time I can go to class alone. <laughs> <laughs> She's not going to have any lip left. No. She's going to bite the whole thing off. I can go to class alone. Yeah, I can find this. Da, da, da. But I didn't even know where the building was. Oh, that uh, could I guess be a, a map. I reached in my backpack and dragged out my class schedule. Homeroom 206 Poppy Hall. Oh, great. Which one was Poppy Hall again? Were it the classrooms on the other side of campus? I picked the direction and began to walk, trying to get <coughs> a rising panic at the thought of arriving late to the first day of class. Oh, man. As a third year where no one knew me, all the people staring. Hey, hey you okay? You look a little lost. Someone called out to me, and I turned around, almost jumping for joy. When oh, I froze, a normal Jack, and he was one of normal club is John Tron and Jack. Yep, and Jack. I could practically feel my tongue swelling in my mouth. It must have been from that lizard guy. Yeah. Getting in her throat. <laughs> you know, he's trying to crawl out. If this was a normal boots club member, I had to make a good uh, impression. Oh, come on. Will you stop worrying about making a good impression? He was one of the founders, right? Then he must be... Gotcha. John Tron. Um, yes. I'm new. I don't know where Poppy Hall is. <laughs> you a freshman? No problem. My class is in Poppy Hall. I'll walk you there. Really? Really? That'd be wonderful. Thank you. Was this really happening? I was being walked to class by a hot dude. By Drontron, no less. He began walking toward a large brick building in an enthusiastic manner, pumping his arms up and down like he was in some kind of show tune. I fell into step beside him. Yeah, and he was also I didn't probably saying lots when... of swear words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't notice it when Mai pointed him out to me yesterday, but Drontron had big brown eyes and a warm-looking face. 
Uh, he was basically a human puppy. Wow. These girls are obsessed with how cute guys are. Yeah, really. I hope are all girls like that because I didn't know that. I, I hope I, I, I would I, I would I, hate I would hate most to think of the people in this I game would, are not at all normal, so hopefully yeah. I mean except for the normal guys, everybody's kinda of messed up. Yeah, so hope hopefully like, you know, when all the girls are like aren't aren't like thinking, Whoa, Joe is like a human puppy or something <laughs> <laughs> that would be awkward, like to think that they were thinking that. Yeah, that would. That would I glanced up at him out of the corner of my eye. Eep! <laughs> a bird, a bird on his shoulder. There is a Enough bird on his bird. shoulder. <laughs> Birds always made me uncomfortable. Something about the ease which they could poke out someone's eyes. Something wrong? Why'd you stop? <laughs> what bird? No, nothing. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong at all. Just there's a bird. You follow my gaze to the bird on his shoulder. Hey. Oh, this is Jack. Isn't he cute? Nice to meet you. It... It spoke! It the speak. bird could speak! <laughs> yeah. It said something. He put his hand to his shoulder. Jack's pump jumped into his palm. Jax is a robot bird, see? He's like Popple. Like, that's a robot bird, see? <laughs> <laughs> see? Hello. <laughs> Jack's eyes gleamed a dangerous red when he spoke, but nothing else suggested he was a normal bird. In fact, if I hadn't known better, I would have said the red in his eye was painted on. That's amazing! Jack twisted his head to the side, again, I mean, returned. The more he looked at me, the less afraid I was. Oh. What are you looking at? <laughs> what? Uh, nothing! I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you comfortable. Oh yeah, Jack can be a little sassy. Who are you calling sassy? I'm not the sassy one. I don't forget to feed you. You don't feed Wait, me. Wait, but he's a robot bird. Jack, right? that was one time. I was alone and starving in the frozen center <laughs> of this empty world. I'm a robot, but somehow I need to eat. Yeah, Love this. Afraid. Out. Like even Vision Ignore doesn't him. have to eat. You know? <laughs> I've been bringing him with me to the drama club, and he's taken a little too well to it. I see how the city shut me out like I have nothing to add to the conversation. Jack retook his place on John's shoulder, this time facing away from us as it miffed. We resumed our walk towards Poppy Hall. Probably or as if to talk about the bird for so long. I'm John Tron, by the way. Call me John. John. Okay, John. Hana, nice to meet you. Hana, that's a cute name. <laughs> oh, I was thinking like, Hana, no, that's well, it. Nice, thank, thank you. Yes. I don't know why I'm thanking you, because this is my parents who gave it to me, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, you should go thank. <laughs> so how long have you had Jock? Since middle school. We've been together for four years now. Ain't that right? I'm not listening. <laughs> yeah, well. I love him to death. I don't know what I'd do without him. It seemed like life would be a lot easier without him, but who was that to say? Who am I to say? Where Jock should be here. We arrived at a big brick building. A white sign surrounding by poppies declared it to be, unsurprisingly, Poppy Hall. Which room were you in? Room 206. Really? Seriously? Yeah, like, Whoa. Yes? Yeah. Look uh, at that sure. Face. Why not? Look at how young he is. Like, <laughs> Whoa! What? Really? That's my homeroom. We're in the same class. Well, what do you know about that? John laughed and clasped me on the shoulder. Wonderful, I guess I'll be seeing more of you then, right? Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's great. That's good, yeah. Look, oh, Together we ended... Awesome. <laughs> <All blanket. laughs> yeah, John yeah. John should definitely be... Yeah. He, he would have said like 50 F words by now. And maybe a few A words and S words and some other... Other words. A couple of <laughs> words, maybe. We went to Bobby Hall. Don't do that, you'll turn off the mic. Poppy Hall was lined with fluorescent lights and a sag owl blue lockers. The lack of students milling around the hallway indicated we were a bit late. Ooh. We ran up the stairs and made it into the classroom just as the bell rang. Oh, just in time. Just in time. My heart caught in my throat. Oh, come on. How much stuff Thankfully, you have your the teacher now? hadn't come yet. <laughs> <laughs> instead, a stu instead, students come into tight pods and milled around the classroom, catching up on vacation news. John. Thank you so much for showing me class, John. See you later. No problem. I'll see you around. Later. Got it. He waved and disappeared into a wriggle, wriggling mass of students. I glanced around the room, looking for an empty seat. Hana, Hana what are you doing, man? <laughs> Mai peeled herself out from between a cuddling couple. Oh, oh what is she is doing okay. in between a cuddling couple? Yeah, good what? question. Yeah, like, was she just like, okay, we gotta make room for Jesus in this? 
<laughs> okay, let me let me fix this hug and so she yeah. got in the middle of it. Yeah. <laughs> I got yeah. much better. Uh was that Jontron? Were you just talking to Jontron? Hopefully you didn't hug, I would have gotten in the middle of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was Jontron. Maya's eyes white and I couldn't help feeling a little smug. Like, That's <laughs> right, I met Jontron. We're gonna collab. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I realized I didn't know the way to class after you and I got separated. Thanks a lot for that. And he offered to walk me. <laughs> Maya made a highly pressurized squeal. Yes, face. Oh. Jontron walking a class. OMG, you have to tell me everything. <laughs> oh my gosh. You have to tell me everything. <laughs> she grabbed me by the wrist and pulled me into an empty desk in the back corner of the room right next to the window. Oh, there goes your wrist now. I saved you a seat. Good, well, what do you, well, my, I guess I take back all those bad things I said about you. Well, You're pretty okay after seats. all. Look at all those empty yeah. seats. There are plenty of empty He's seats. He's the only person in the classroom. <laughs> I slid in and took my backpack, hooking it on the side of the desk. I was a little worried at the, I was a little worried the books inside were too heavy for the bag to handle, but so far it held up well. Man, need a better Sorry bag. we got separated, by the way. Oh, good, she apologized. That's a good day. Now that we met Jontron, I can get a little, it can get a little chaotic sometimes. No kidding. So tell me, what happened? What did he say? What did he smell like? Does uh, he have peach fuzz? Is it rough? Oh, she is obsessed. She's so weird. All these girls are obsessed. Wait, what? <laughs> these are very important questions I'm asking. You need to answer them. Was his hair super silky to have the roughness of a dog's coat? I don't know. I didn't touch his hair. Before I could answer, does. the door to the front of the room slid open and a tall woman strolled in. Oh boy. Oh, the class went quiet and obediently slid into their seats. My heart beat furiously, blood rushing through my ears. Yeah. Class, good morning, class. Is that the way all teachers talk? Oh, I, I, I've never been to school. Yeah. Because I'm a homeschool noob. The teacher's melodious <laughs> voice swam through the room, calling the buzzing <laughs> high of students. It's a buzzing high of students. They must have gotten too drunk last night. Because <laughs> they're all high. My shoulders relaxed and my fear ebbed away. My fear would have been coming at that moment. Like, like I would have been totally calm, you know, being all the, like, the cool guy. And all of a sudden, the teacher walks in. I'm like, oh, snap. She's scary. <laughs> oh, just look at her. I oh, am, no, I am your teacher, scary. Shizuka Wahis Wakahisa. You may call me Miss Shizuka because Vinny doesn't know how to pronounce the last name. The emphasis she placed on the word led me to believe that calling her Mrs. wasn't a mistake she would take lightly. That's why I'm not married and I'm proud of it. Yeah, everyone's trying to make Single it and proud of it. Some of you might have noticed that we have a new student this semester. Oh, oh snap. He's like, um, John Tron? <laughs> I am a hail of murmurs passed through the class. Some people glanced at me. What? Nope, there was the fear again. Would you like to come up and introduce yourself? I'm surprised she said yes. Um, no. Don't want to do that. I nodded, stood, and slowly walked to the front of the room, counting my steps to make sure I wouldn't fall. Okay, one, two, splat! <laughs> lost steps. count, lost count. I faced the class, took a deep breath, introduced myself, and noticed a familiar face in the crowd. There was John sitting with two other boys wearing normal boots, club jackets. Look at PVG's face, yo. One, so <laughs> yeah, he look, yo, he looked kind of confused. One of the boys, the tallest one, was staring at me, the barest of frowns on his face. It's not exactly a frown, it's more like a confused <laughs> I'm look. I'm confused. I'm <laughs> confused. Something about him seemed really familiar. Wait, no, I watched his YouTube video, I remember. Yeah. Wait, <clears throat> he was PVG, wasn't he? The other founder of the normal boots club? Suddenly, all the strength left my knees. And I passed out. I passed out. What should I do? Why was he frowning? Was it possible that I'd already made a bad impression? Stop worrying about making a bad impression. Oh. I got John, and you got Satch, and you got Jerry. Jerry's like really crushing out on you, so I think you're doing good. You're doing good. You had to be kidding me. If he didn't like me, what did that mean about everyone else? Wouldn't they follow uh, his lead? No! Just stop no. worrying about it. Um, no way. Of course, maybe I'm giving these kids more credit than they deserve. After all, they seem to just go along with what normal boots. But hey, some of the normal boots guys like you, so, you know, just you say should it. should be fine. I swallowed. The face of the class began to congeal, forming one giant blob. Oh, gross. That's, <laughs> yeah, I'll swell together. You moved from Amarisu, right? Yeah, that. I know I didn't swallow again. Then, like a beacon of light, I noticed my smiling and give me a thumbs up. That's right. What would my do in this situation? W W M D, everybody. <laughs> what would my do? What would my would have done? What would my have would have do? <laughs> yes, I've just moved. Oh.
Thanks for okay, doing my job yeah. for me. It's easy to have to do. Wow, she's so loud. Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, I got you, man. So I'm sorry. sorry. I'm just too weak and pathetic, girl. <laughs> I bowed my head to the class and they clapped politely. Politely. Yeah, like, they actually thought you were kind of dumb, but they clapped politely anyway. When I looked up, PBG wasn't frying, but he still seemed oddly confused. <laughs> See, he's too he's, confused. Uh, he's just confused. Stop worrying about it. He's just, he's just, he's just, uh, you're, you're, you're reading he's too much to into it. I'm trying to remember if he raked his hair this morning. He's like, did I rake my hair today? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> it always feels the same whether I come or not. <laughs> yeah. Like, you first you get your hair, you get it all messy. Maybe he always looked like that. Yes, you got it. He always looks like that. That's just PBG. Yeah. That's the way he looks. Didn't you, haven't you ever watched him on YouTube? Maybe he's like thinking about how annoyed he is at Sonic Heroes or something like that. Yeah, he's thinking about Sonic Heroes. He's like, oh, that game's so terrible. I had to go <laughs> run into the lake. It was so bad. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You may be seated. Oh, thanks. I returned to my seat, heaving, heaving a small sigh. The hardest part of the day was over. You assume. You assume. You always assume that. Shizuka began to talk about standard procedure for the semester. The rules for classes when homework was due and that sort of thing. It was all very similar to my old school, and I spaced out in spite of myself. A brief flicker of movement caught my eye. <laughs> PBG again. Oh man, he's really crushing out on you, man. He looks so confused. I glanced at him, and his head snapped back to the blackboard. What was his problem? He's confused. Nothing, he's just PBG. Class continued on like that until the bell rang, and it was time for lunch. Ah! <laughs> <coughs> oh. like, <laughs> <laughs> My stretch of arms over head and yawned. Bad. Oh man, I hate the first day of class. It's always so boring. Dude, boring. Weren't you looking forward to this morning? Something about exciting things yeah, happening? Exciting things. Well, yeah, but it already did. You met Jontron, didn't you? So it's over. That's exciting. Now you got nothing left to look forward to. You assume. Oh, you don't know that. Annoyed. Annoyed. She sighed. Um, okay. Sorry. And I was hoping to see Jared before class, too. She slouched and fell across the front of my desk. It seemed like this would be happening a lot. Yo, she's gotta uh, get over Jared. Yeah, Jared really. clearly likes us, not her. Is us. Jared really that hot? <laughs> so. That's a good question. Is Jared really that hot? The answer is no. The Look answer is no. on YouTube. <laughs> I mean, his double chin is just like... My head snapped back up, her eyes flashing. How dare you? I. Oh, oh I don't uh, say this about nothing. Err, blah. <laughs> if you stare directly at him for too long, your nose will melt off. I've seen it happen. Yeah, it that's, why, to me. That's, that's, that's why, why she has no nose. nose. <laughs> See, she doesn't have a nose. It's because her nose melted yeah. off when she looked at Jared so much. What? What? That's what happened to your nose? Really? Yeah. I that's amazing. That. I had no idea. Anyways, let's head to lunch. I'm super <laughs> hungry. This is so weird. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I looked at my backpack. It held up well throughout the class, but I worried that if I didn't take some time with my stuff out, I might do some permanent damage to it. Especially with Satch's book in there. I couldn't exactly afford a new backpack. I need to put something in my locker first. But if we don't go now, they run out of the sesame seed buns. Oh. Oh, me. Oh. That's okay, I'll just go on ahead. Come find me, okay? Alright. I was so lucky to have someone like her as my roommate. No, you weren't. No, you're not. Uh -uh. Quick as I could, I went to my locker and shoved the book inside. As good a book as it was, it was infinitely happier that I had my around so I didn't have to read it. Without her, who knew what I would do with myself? Especially talk with PBG staring at me like that. Just go talk to PBG. <laughs> Say, hey yeah. man, sup? Don't stare yeah. at me like that. <laughs> Maybe I could ask her what was up with him when I met her at the cafeteria. It might be just the way he was. Yes, you got it. It's just the way he is. That's PBG. Yeah. Cheered, I head for the cafeteria. Okay. Okay. I carried my melon bread to the minefield of people, searching for the now familiar sight of Mai's red hair. Where is she? I couldn't see her anywhere, and there were almost no empty seats. All around me, students circled each other, laughing and joking, sharing bites of food, and splitting the cost for sodas. What? Suddenly, I felt very obvious and very alone. Awkward. Isn't there anywhere I can sit? Right anywhere? On the floor. Guys? Just then, I spotted a table at the front of the room. 
A lone boy sat at it, stabbing his spaghetti with the vigor of a Roman general. He was having a hard time with it. I moved the closer to him, working up the courage to ask to sit with him. Da -da -da. Well, no wonder he was eating his spaghetti with a spoon. Wait a second. This guy was in my class, wasn't he? I saw him that morning at the front of the room. And he was wearing a jacket just like the Normal Boots Club, but yeah, different. Like different. Different. Color. A golden gray jacket with an 8 bit low block on the front. Was he a member of another club, or maybe he's friends with them? Hey! Hey, what? Uh -huh. Hana! Don't talk to that guy! That's Brutal yeah. Moose! <laughs> oh my! Oh my! <laughs> my appeared between me and the boy who glanced up at us before returning to his spaghetti with his spoon. We were gonna help him. We were gonna help him, man. Yeah, we're gonna help him. <laughs> Thank goodness I found you. I set the table for you in the back. In the back? Oh! I, I was gonna eat with Brutal Moose, but okay. I looked at the boy and then back at Mai. Come on, don't don't talk to Brutal Moose. <laughs> don't, 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 don't talk to don't Brutal Moose. Don't don't just don't talk to Brutal Moose. She grabbed my shoulder rather forcefully and pushed me to the back of the room. Get away from Brutal Moose. Hey, what's wrong? I was just gonna help Brutal Moose with the spaghetti. <laughs> you are so lucky I got here when I did. That kid is Brutal Moose. His real name's Ian. He's from the Hidden Block Club. The Hidden Block Club? How many clubs are there? Yeah, the rival club of normal boots. He's really weird. I mean, she looked around at her to make sure no one was listening in, but we were completely alone in our little corner of the cafeteria. He speaks in Comic Sans. What? <laughs> How do you do that? Whoa! I wonder if, like, when you talk, if you get to talk to him, like, he always talks with Comic Sans. That'd be funny. I don't know. Yeah, it'd be better to stay away from him, especially since you've already gotten to know some of the normal boots guys. What? What are you talking about? I only just met John today, and Jared is crushing out on me, and I met Satch yesterday. And PBG is... And PBG <laughs> is, is, like, staring at me. Maybe just think about his next video. Haha, <laughs> yeah, right. I saw the way PBG was staring at you. He totally likes you. Really? Really? Is that what you thought it was? I thought that was confusion. Yeah. Either Mai was blind or she had a serious case of wishful thinking. Ugh. Oh, totally. It was so cute, just like my favorite manga. Uh, you meet in high school, fall in love, and then go off and fight aliens together. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, the alien I mean, part. The alien the part. part. Yeah. The, the, I, well, I don't know. Maybe the alien isn't gonna happen. Maybe that. Have some faith in yourself. That's totally what's yeah. happening. That's, that's totally what's happening. Just, just believe. So now that you're in good with PVG, <sighs> can you introduce me to Jared? One oh. track mind. Yep. Oh, is that what she was getting at? A hot flash of doubt sees me. Oh, now a hot flash of doubt is seizing her. She's like grabbed her from behind. Oh, no, it's a hot flash of doubt. Was it possible that Mai only liked me because she thought I knew the normal boots guys? Well, probably no, so. that couldn't be. Couldn't be, though. Yeah. She was so nice. Still looking at her shining and eager face, I couldn't talk myself out of the idea. I actually thought PVG didn't like me. What? What? Why would you think that? He was glaring at me. The music makes me think there's about to be an accident. Man, you just don't understand. It's a love triangle. A love triangle with you, PVG, and then me in between them. <laughs> uh, in between the cuddling couple. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, a triangle now? Wait, now you're, you're wanting to get in between us? You're trying to get in between me and PVG? You don't do that, my. You don't just go getting in between cuddling couples. Unless you're just making room for Jesus. That's okay. I can see it. Stars practically erupted from her eyes. <laughs> PVG, I can't. Don't do it. <laughs> but Hana, I love you. Oh man. Okay. But, but my maidenhood, my virginity. Whoa. Where are you going with this? This is getting inappropriate. Oh, very. Inappropriate. Stop getting so inappropriate all the time. You have a one-track mind. I slammed my fork on the table. My look pleased with herself. Oh man, she's just, <laughs> oh, she's got a mind together. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. You are really are cute when you blush. You almost match your hair. Uh... Th that's not fair at all. My hair is much brighter color than my face could ever be. I beg to differ. I think it's very fair. Still, I searched my mind eager to change the subject. Gotta change the subject. Get off of this. Get off of this. That was an impressive scenario. No, it wasn't, but that'll work. Yeah. What? No, no, it wasn't. wasn't. <laughs> I just made it up on the spot. <laughs> I, I, I laughed kidding. nervously. He, he, he. Oh, so that girl who was talking to me when we got separated. Mai told the story of her past friendship with this girl like they were uh -huh. eternal arch nemesis. 
Apparently they had some bad blood. <laughs> I nodded, choosing to take the time to relax. Before I knew it, we were finished eating. We got up and tossed our trays together as I headed towards the door, though my hesitated. Um, hey, uh, I forgot something back at the dorm. Oh, need help? No, no, I'm, I'm totally okay. I'm just gonna go get it. I'll see you later, though, right? See you later. Okay, see you in class. See you. Bye. I waved and I sprinted off in the direction of the dorms. Alone again, I crossed my arms and headed back to Poppy Hall. Large groups of seven or eight people were laying out in the sun, playing catch and eating lunch on the lawn. Cool. It looked like fun to have so many friends like that. It's not fun. It's not fun, because, like, all your friends, they aren't really friends. They just think they are, and oh, you think they are, but then... I smiled. Maybe this new school really would be better than my last. You belong there. Without the students inside of it, Poppy Hall looked like a bit of an abandoned hospital. My footsteps echoed as I climbed the stairs to the fourth floor. With a sigh, I opened up my locker and pulled out the book Satch gave me. It was a good thing I brought it after all. I stepped into the classroom and saw the flash of movement by the window. A boy sat in the windowsill and he jerked up when I came in. It's Brutal Moose! He was silhouetted by the afternoon sunshine, so I couldn't quite tell who he was. I wish it was Brutal Moose. Um, hello? I'm sorry, did I bother you? Uh, yeah, it was a The boy stood and shook his head, then crossed to a desk on the opposite side of the room. As he passed, I was able to see him clearly. Another Norbus jacket? This guy, he was Shane from the Norbus Club. Did you do? Did you How do? on earth did this keep happening to me? It's almost like this is a video game. Yeah, really. Shane sat down at his desk, fidgeted with his hand a little, then turned to look at me. You're... The new girl? I nodded. My name is Hannah. Nice, nice to meet you. It'd be funny if you always use her line. Did nice you know? Me. Did you know? <laughs> he nodded. <coughs> Shane, did you know? Yeah. Did you know? I'm Shane. <laughs> <laughs> Silence filled the space between us. Panic built up inside me. This was my uh, chance to get in with the normal club and I was blowing it. You're not blowing it. Just stop worrying about your stuff. Oh, just, oh. I walked to my desk and sat down, setting the book on top of it. You, um, ah, uh, play video games. Video games, they exist. She ain't look at me, unsmiling. You're part of the Norwoods Club? Of course. Yeah, like oh, cool. Yes, I am. Why? Oh. He spoke as if it were a challenge, almost glaring at me. <laughs> oh, I, er, uh, why? I saw your jacket, so I assumed you were in the Norwoods Club. And, you know, ah. Uh, yeah. I wanted a jacket like that. I trailed yeah. off. The jackets are, are, are cool. They're really cool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, like, okay. Okay. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Silence again. He seems skeptical, as if he expected me to crawl off my skin and reveal myself to a large amphibious reptile. Like maybe it's a lizard. He might, he might turn to a lizard. He probably sees the lizard and the hot shame and yeah. the heat creeping up your neck <laughs> yeah. and the water. And he's in the just back like, oh eyes. man, all this stuff is coming out to you, and man, I gotta, I gotta stay away from you. I had to do something. Who knew when another chance like this would come? But Shane didn't seem friendly. In fact, he seemed downright suspicious. You always read too much into stuff. You assume PBG's evil, and you assume Shane's hates you, and. Surely he wasn't odd to me already. Maybe it was better not to risk it. Uh, what do we do? Ty talk to him or give him his face? Oh, Ty talk, talk to him? Okay. Yeah, talk to him. Um, so you... You play games then. Cool. Shane looked over at me. Video games? That's my... <laughs> that's the secret... That's, a, that's like the secret password. You say video games. Like, oh, video games. I've always been interested in video games. I didn't get to play them much growing up. They were really expensive, and my dad couldn't afford them, but I used to go over to my friend's house and play there. <laughs> Shane didn't respond. Now what? I was out of stuff to say. What did you play? What? What? Oh. Mario Kart. We'd go into battle mode on the triple deck. He would drive around by himself on the top left, and I'd try to booby trap the lowest level. It was a good spot next to the ramp. I'd wait there until my mom came racing down the ramp to find me, then smash her with a red shell. <laughs> oh, that guy's mean. Did you know? Shane's angry stare faded away. He was smiling. Sort of. Sort of smiling. He made the whole room seem ten shades brighter. Or maybe I was more relaxed. Man, ever says, like, whoa, the guy is so hot. He, like, he closed the entire room. Uh -huh, your mom must have been mad. <laughs> she was, but she always let me do it. Probably on purpose. Did your mom... 
A door slid open. Mimi and her friends, a couple of chattering girls, entered the classroom. They stopped and stared from me to Shane. It was clear they thought they were interrupting something, even though we were sitting on opposite ends of the room. Yeah, it's not like we're making out or anything. <laughs> er, uh, bleh. Sorry, didn't know you two were, uh... Talking. I didn't know you two were talking. I, mean, I didn't. We, were we didn't talking. think... Talking. Like, we're just talking. No, it's fine. We're just talking. We're just talking. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't happy they caught me talking to the Shane of the Normals Club. Yeah. Like, did you know? It's, it's Shane. The Shane. <laughs> the Shane. The girls went to their desks and sat down. What were you... Shane was staring at me again, an odd hurt look on his face. What? They interrupted me in the middle of in the middle of yeah. talking to a hot girl. <laughs> I'm too awkward to talk in front of girls in front of other people. I immediately felt like I was caught doing something I wasn't supposed to. Do you know what I was trying to do? What oh. were you trying to do? Yeah, good question. But I mean, it wasn't like I didn't want to talk to him. He was an interesting guy and all. It's not like I only talked to him because he was in the mole boots, right? Okay, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he turned, it. pulled out a notebook and some pens, and scribbled away, thoroughly ignoring me. He's probably writing his next video. He's like, I wonder if I can get PVG to do the voice for it. I hate doing voices for videos. Yeah. I mean, he was thinking about having her do a voice, but he was kind of nervous about asking. So he's like writing a note, like, hey, could you do the voice for the next video? Yeah. They were stuffy. I tugged at my collar of my shirt, sweating. The girls kept looking at me over their shoulders that they expected something. I smiled hesitantly at them. Hey, guys. They smiled back and started a conversation amongst themselves. The atmosphere Rude. was broken. It was broken. I heaved a sigh of relief. What was up with these normal boots guys? John was really nice when I spoke with him, but PBG and Shane, Shane seemed to hate me. What about Satch and Jared? They both yeah. like you. They were anything but normal. And they didn't even wear boots. <laughs> yeah. I waited for Mai to come to class, wanting desperately to tell her what happened. But when the bell rang and Miss Shizuka started teaching, Mai still hadn't come. Class came and went. The bell rang and I was alone. PBG stared at me for the entire <laughs> class period, his face growing more and more menacing by the minute. No, more confused. More confused. He's how his face how was... Green, uh, pink hair. How would you have pink hair? I want pink hair too. Now his yeah. face wasn't stuck in a perm frown. I would never know. Shane and John didn't bother talking to me as they left the classroom and the other students paired up around me. Hey Mimi, would you like to engage in a casual discourse this evening? Uh, um... No, I don't think that sounds good. That sounds like something bad. Yeah, of course. I'll totally dis engage in a casual discourse this evening. That sounds totally <laughs> like it's not something bad. Dot. But why are you talking like that? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Sorry, dot. I stuffed my book into my backpack and headed to the dorm. With a sigh, I unlocked the door to my dorm room. As soon as the door opened, I heard... Doing here? What? Wait, what? <laughs> My I lay in the heap on the floor. I'm so glad you're back. She wrapped her arms around my head and nuzzled me. No, Why? Dude. Stop doing that. What are you doing? This is very awkward. Come look, look, look. She got off and held me to my bed. See? Come and look, 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 look oh, and no. see. Oh, look, oh, look <laughs> Without my face filling my vision, I saw that something had changed. <laughs> oh my goodness! The dorm room oh, looked nothing like what goodness. it had before. The posters and fairy lights were still up, but now the window had light pink curtains on it that cast a warm haze around the room. A brand new white carpet was on the floor. Pillows were piled high in a mountain on a, Whoa, a brand new white mountain carpet. on the top ah, bunk. Cool. On the top bunk of the bunk bed. Wait, what? Oh, they said brand new carpet. They mean oh. they just installed it and it's probably going to be outgassing. They're going to be all yeah. sick and stuff. Even our chairs have been replaced with new cushy leather ones. What happened here? What'd you do? You ruined everything. Why are there still posters on the wall? Take that was porn down. Take that porn <laughs> down. Hey, <laughs> sorry I didn't tell you, but I wanted to surprise you. Uh-huh. I thought this would come in yesterday, but it was delayed by a day. Uh -huh. I wanted to set it up with a big surprise. I'm still not done, though. It's not done yet. Yep. She gets to me. She gets to some small potted plants arranged in neat rows on her desk. Want to help? Yeah. 
do I ever want to help? No. No, of course not. Yeah, I don't want to help. Like, do I ever? Like, of course But I'll not. do it anyway. We finished setting the room up, twitch, switching a few objects here and there in order to better facilitate that Feng Shu, which Mai told me was extraordinarily important. And you took down the chicken beaks. She especially wanted to make sure our room was filled with reds and pinks and coupled items, so for what purpose I wasn't sure. Coupled items. We collapsed with heavy sighs on the floor, then heaved great big yawns. It's not even the end of the day yet, and I'm so tired. So tired. Me too. Wait. Wait. Yeah, wait. Yeah. She shot out something with a jolt. We should get some ice cream. Ice Let's cream. go get some ice cream. Yeah. Ice cream. Ice cream? Really? I never heard of that. Before. I never heard of that. What's yeah. that? Yeah. So let's celebrate being roommates. The ice cream here on campus is genuinely good. I promise. I don't know, it might man. Be unhealthy. Might not be a good idea. I need to keep my. Keep my girlish figure. And I'm paying. <laughs> well, if that's the case, you may not or can't refuse. And I may not be slim around the waist, but at least my wallet won't be slim. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet, let's go. <laughs> the school shop was in a side building off in the cafeteria, packed with instant noodles and a giant bottles of soda. Students wanted the aisles aimlessly here, clearly more here, more to spend time than money. My paid the cashier and we grabbed the ice cream cones, mine the one covered in sprinkles. Whoa, this is delicious. Oh yeah. Isn't it we're lucky to have such good food on campus? This place would be awful if we didn't. <laughs> Cause all we got is Jared and yeah. Jared ignores me, so yeah, without ice cream. Food makes up without food. ice cream there wouldn't be any point in living. Yeah. I thought I was about to respond when I noticed a commotion outside. Ooh, let's see what's going on. Oh, yeah, nothing could possibly go wrong. Just grab the know? dogs by the ear. My grab my arm and drive me outside. There are three boys wearing normal boots. Jackets were shouting at each other, each if their faces turning purple. This again, boring. What? what are you talking about? I never saw this before. I'm clearly the only, only one who possesses the proper masculine form. Yeah, right. I'm taller than you and more attracted to boot. Normal boot. Come on, guys. Can you not see these muscles? It's manly muscles. Yeah. <laughs> Nick pulls back the sleeve of his jacket and flexes his arm. Okay, okay, now, now I realize maybe it's not so bad the girls act weird because guys don't act. I don't think guys act like this. I hope not. I mean, I don't think I, <laughs> I think, think it's, I think, I think it's exaggerated. Vinny doesn't act like that. I think so. it's exaggerated. So it's kind of like all so. the girls exaggerated, guys exaggerated. It's kind of be funny. But, I mean, yeah. These guys always go on about weird stuff like this. They're very energetic. Oh, yeah? Josh got into the downward facing dog yoga pose and grinned. Look at this, what? <laughs> just look at this! Oh man. Okay, yeah. That, that what I don't up. understand is why they don't just ask Jared. I mean, I like to see his butt. <laughs> oh yeah. Paul kneeled low to the ground and took off at a sprint heading straight for us. Yeah. Check this out. Check it out, check it out. He sprang into <laughs> the air into a graceful ballerina's leap, swings the air, and finally. Came straight for me? And More? He's like staring, he's he's like like staring oh, at me. Oh no, oh. When I opened my eyes, I was sprawled flat on the ground, covered in dirt. And dead. <laughs> Something cold and wet was on top of my blouse. Yeah, I was it was Paul. It was Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, why are you oozing on me? <laughs> are you okay? You've no. been passed out for five minutes. I'm dead. I sat up, chunks of ice cream fell from my blouse to my skirt. Oh, it wasn't It wasn't, it wasn't Paul, it was <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> uh, what happened? I'm all oozing. Yeah. <laughs> you ran into someone, you idiot. Oh, oh my. Idiot. That was nice. <laughs> my uniform, it's ruined. For a few seconds of silence, these niggas ripple around me like the whining of cicadas. My throat closed up, water stinging my eyes again. Water's always stinging her eyes. Uh, Poor girl, things are always bugging her. No. Not this again. Yeah, just like in the last one, we went and got ice cream and. and I stood and up. And and ever, <laughs> I stood up, prepared to walk with dignity when the entirety of the Norwood's Club suddenly appeared in front of my face. I'm right confused. in front of my still face. Confused. What's up? What happened here? Paul? You killed someone? Yeah, Seriously? Like you killed her. Seriously, down my face. Like, no, no I'm not here. I didn't want to cry in front of them. Why, why not? Hey. Hi, are you alright? I'm confused. He's, oh, he's like, like, like I'm why? confused. He's like, why is Paul losing <laughs> over? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going home. Wait, no. huh? No. You, you didn't eat your ice cream. Eat your ice cream. <laughs> it's fine. I just want to be alone for now. 
Oh, poor Hana. Oh, man. I took all of my will not to run back to the dorm. I merely changed my pajamas and slid into bed, reaching for my stuffed rabbit. You should have just stole any other uniform. What am I going to do if this ends up just like last time? <sighs> Mr. Bunny stared at me with his big lashless eyes. I squished into my chest, losing myself in his soft fur. The door opened with a soft click. Hannah, are you okay? No, I'm dead, remember? I rolled over my bed to face the wall, pretending to be asleep. Mai stood in the center of the room for a while, looking at me. Finally, she sat down at her desk and began to work on something. The sound of her pencil scratching against the paper still in my mind. I don't know how many hours passed, but eventually I fell asleep. Well, okay, I guess that's the end. That's the end of. Uh, oh yeah, we did it. We that's made the, that's it the end of. Uh, that's the end of day uh, uh, two, right? Yep, so did. I guess that'll be it for this episode, guys. In the next one, we're gonna be trying to get to day three. Hopefully, yeah. everybody doesn't hate us, so it wouldn't really matter because we have so much confidence. But unfortunately, Hana <laughs> yeah, does not. If. Hana does not have that much confidence, unfortunately. She needs so. to take a lesson from us. She needs to take a lesson from us. Oh, yeah. yeah, but anyway, Sherman homeschool. Sherman homeschool. But anyway, that'll be it for this episode, guys. Until next time, take it easy. We, we are out. No, I don't. Oh, it's that. You want to have the bomb? No, you don't. No, get it off. <laughs>